All right, we just got to uh, Duthie. I just gave the bike a quick cleaning, and uh, now we're gonna ride down and go to a class all about uh, manualing wheelies and descents. And I'm just about late. Downhill races when we have we have a day to walk the course and plays at really big events and we'll walk on the course and we'll get to a really steep section and some one of the pros will be a smart ass and yell out, anybody got a bike? Because we're like <laughs> we're afraid to walk down it, but we'd ride our bike down. We're gonna go over, we'll go find some sunshine because why not? It's sunny. Um, and we're gonna go do a little experiment with how how a manual works and we're gonna be kind of part. Oh, that feels much better. <laughs> feels good in the sun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so actually we'll I'm gonna put the front end up here. So it's like kind of aggressive in a way. So all, he, all he's going to do is get on his bicycle, get on his pedals however he can. All right, it's pretty easy for me to hold him here. I'm, he's, the brakes are on. He's going to put the brakes on now. So you're going to put your brakes on. All right. So from here, he's going to stand up. He's going to have his feet level. He's going to bring his chin up. And now just bring your hips back. Keep bringing your hips back and looking up. Bring your hips back. I've got your, I'm not going to let you flip over backwards. And just use your hips. There. That's your manual right there. Feel how you're balancing. I'm not doing anything. I'm not holding your bike at all. Yeah, right. That's, I'm not. <laughs> that's a manual right there. So he's feeling the exact balance point. So no, we come so, no, so you're on the brakes He's on the brakes now. and then you're going to, you're going to like open your knees up slightly and just take a light, a light hands on the handlebars. A little bit further back. And just back. let him start to feel that. Keep looking up. Looking up is going to be a a big I asset. Yeah. So I don't <laughs> lift it, right? Nope. Just just him. Him. You just let him try to lift it like you're trying to have light fingers. So he's got a cross country bike. Notice how far back yeah. he has yeah. to go. I'm going like, so, I mean, how he, far do I have to lean? So you, you have to lean <laughs> really? back pretty okay. far on, All right. on that bike because it's got a much steeper head angle. All right, let's get aggressive. Awesome. It's kind of it's kind of cool. You can feel like the small adjustments oh, yeah. in your hips to, yeah, to totally. go fore aft and side yeah. side. Like yeah. that's yeah. like Thanks. one of my friends on my team. That is crazy. Okay, so after our little uh, practice there with getting to feel the manual, we did this um, exercise here where we're trying to do a manual off of the back wheel over the obstacle. So then Simon showed us basically how to manual through a pump section. And then we went up the trail, we're at Duthie Mountain Bike Park here. We went up the trail, we jumped on to boot camp um, in one of the, uh, towards the end of it. And there is, that's a shortcut to get down to uh, Deuces Wild, which is this here. And it's a dual slalom track. Okay. Sure, but cool. since I'm not manualing many, I'll go first. Okay. So Simon was showing people uh, good spots to do manuals, but since I'm having a lot of trouble getting manuals to work on this uh, trail bike, uh, I decided to go first because I've ridden this one a lot. So I am trying to get manuals on some of the sections here and some jumps and having fun. So I am trying to get some manuals. And you can see there's uh, there's some steep sections here, but there's also some nice flow here and rolling. So this is a slalom track and it, it has what we call a, uh, a pump track. So you can actually kind of pump the terrain to get more speed as you're going along it. So this is the type of track that BMX is usually run on, well, the same style. And here the camera runs out of, uh, the gimbal ran out of power, so flipped around. Okay, I actually manual one or two. Did you? Cool. I did. I was just like, oh my god, that felt cool. Yeah. <laughs> Early on? Yeah. yeah. I was like, that booyah. Was, yeah. Was money. We we're changing the camera. The batteries in the gimbal. All right. <laughs> I didn't, uh, I haven't been able to catch the manual very well. Because as Simon's pointed out to me, my bike has a very steep head angle. That means that. My front tire is closer to my center of gravity, and so my bike is hard to uh, to lift lift up. So that means it's going to be very difficult for me to get manuals on this bike. So if I can get manuals on this bike, I can get manuals on any bike. Ugh. Take off the helmet. I'm definitely feeling the impact of racing from 12 to 130. All balls when I'm going down. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened, what happened, uh, 
so that's Mark, uh, on Mark's bike. So I'm going to do a couple of demos here. I'm, I'm going to demonstrate Sorry, the ray part, but first I'm going to demonstrate demonstrate some stuff up here. One of the things we want to be able to do basically is to let the bike move fore aft. Okay, so the bike should be able to move back and forth. Think about like a jockey on a horse. You okay. know, they're standing on the stirrups. Horse is moving back and forth, but the jockey looks like they're stationary. Yeah. That's basically what we want. We want to be on a bike and we want to be able to go through the undulating rough terrain and have the bike be doing this and have our head be doing exactly what my head's doing. Pretty much nothing. Like it should look like it's on a string line going through terrain. So one of the things that's going to help us with this is staying within a place where our arms can work and not tensing up too much also, <laughs> because if I tense up, especially for guys, that's much the same as being at the end of our rope, like where our arms are fully extended. So we're trying to work in the zone where we have arm extension. And when we race downhill, one thing we do is when our arms are fully extended, we might then go into our scapula to get further extension. So we, we actually have more range than simply as long as my arms are, because then we can let our back muscles kind of come around a little bit and we get a bit more arm range. And when we're racing downhill, it's all about having that ability to have like a bunch of range here and not getting caught just in the back seat. Now this is the single, probably like, my, like my favorite myth to dispel because it's super, super dangerous. And like a lot of articles would just say, get your butt back for a steep descent. So people come to this and I see it all the time here. And they're like rolling toward this and they're all the way back right here. And it's like, now your arms are straight. What's going to happen when the bike tips into that hill? You go. You're going to get pulled forward. It'd be like me grabbing you by the wrist and pulling you forward, right? Yeah. And you're standing what? On ball bearings, right? Over pedals. So you're going to get pulled forward very easily. So what I actually want to do that's a little bit takes a little bit of time to get used to is I actually want to move slightly toward the descent with my knees okay so I'm bringing my kneecaps toward the descent watch my arms here my hands are in a fixed location on the bars I bring my knees in toward the descent now my arms are bent now I actually roll into it and my arms can extend okay so you take a picture of me halfway down you're gonna be like oh you got your butt behind the seat well the important distinction for me is that the, the seat rolled in front of my butt I didn't just like bail out the back but I am letting the bike roll in front of me. So I'm actually going to drive into it and let my arms extend. You can see how the bike just stays on the ground so much. I'm going to move in and the bike can roll down. So it's amazing like how steep a terrain we can roll down safely on a bicycle. Coming in slow here, I'm going to come forward and then let my arms extend. Right? Do you notice my arms go up and down? Here I'm going to nudge just slightly forward. Let the bike roll. Knees nudge forward, bike rolls in front. Okay, so that is really steep. And my mind said, no. Yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> you don't have to start on that one. Remember the red cone is steep. <laughs> it is steep. I wanted to start on it. Okay, so I took the easy one first. And then I came and hit the top of uh, Brayheart, hit the rocks, but then cheated and went over to the right uh, on the easy stuff. All right, so let's go for this. Let's go for this wall. Lean into it. Oh yeah. All right, so this time I went down the rocks, but actually you can hear it's a little skidding. So I had the brakes on a little bit there in the rocks. And I pretty much just kept practicing this thing because it's so steep. Nice. At this time, I'm going to use no brakes or very little, and the acceleration was wow, what a speed amazing. increase! Oh my god, I've been riding for years, and come here and he tells you like one thing, it's like holy moly, all of a sudden I have more control. That is not going to be good for me, I'll just go faster. <laughs> It's so counterintuitive yeah. to kind of lean into yeah. like a wall. <laughs> like, yeah, lean into it, it'll be good. <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah, no problem. I'll run here for a little while, then people realize, you know, it's really just not as much fun as ripping single track. And so this trail doesn't get used as much as it could. But this is actually- All right, walk down that. A lot easier walk down. <laughs> For air if you don't make it up. Yeah, that's the thing, that's the main thing is you want to keep your speed, right? And once you once you commit, you want to commit. So So this is my first run at this the obstacle and I come into it. I'm gonna slow down and that was my intention because I kind of wanted to just come up 
unless it's just like a walking speed and they drop in over it. It's time a little bit faster, but you know, not that much faster. And here we're gonna go into a flow section and just check this out. So not too bad. This next one, pretty steep. And the last Woo! one, very steep. <laughs> yeah. it, was, uh, Booyah. it was a blast. You guys got that. So we're just riding out. Simon's in the lead showing a little bit of uh, footwork to one of the guys. So Simon is an ex-pro racer and he teaches uh, multiple classes on bike handling. I did a class with him last year on a cornering <coughs> clinic for cyclocross. If you'd like to watch that video, click up to the top left. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, then click in the center to see more videos. Also, if you'd like to see something recent, click up to the top right. Thanks.